So I'm going to share with you what my 15 year old high schooler is doing for homeschool curriculum this year. Everything that we use is secular and um, I'm going to go over what we're doing and the pricing of everything and then we've had some stuff that we didn't like either and I'm going to explain why we didn't like it and we're not going to continue it. The, um, before I get into what is on my bed, she is doing teaching textbooks online and it is $67 for a one year course and it's laid out online and it's really one of the best math curriculums. It's definitely like the easiest, um, most user friendly, I think, because everything is just done online, graded there, um, and it is pretty affordable, but she's doing algebra too. She is also doing Build Your Library, level eight. We're doing this with my 13 year old eighth grader. I'm adding a few things and doing a little extra things to make it kind of like a high school level class, um, but really not much. Um, it's pretty flexible and um, can be used for high school also, but it's the history of science. And so it like covers history, science, and there's a bunch of living math books. And then also there's tons of literature, um, obviously, that we read. This is not all of the books that are in this curriculum. These are just the ones that I own. Uh, I try and get as many from the library as I can uh, just to be more affordable. The curriculum comes as a PDF download and it's only $49.95. And I'll show you kind of like what you get. Um, So this is a book list of all of the books that they use. Um, this can be found online on her website, which I'll link below. But these are like the science books. And the ones that say spine next to them are ones that you kind of use all year throughout the year. So I do recommend like purchasing those. Like these are spines. This math book is a spine. This, this, and this um, are all things that you should purchase. Um, but there's science and history, poetry, literature, which are read alouds, readers, are independent readers, art, living math, and then some optional books and stuff. And once you purchase the curriculum, there's also a very long list of documentaries that you watch um, throughout the the curriculum. And this is also pulling directly from her website as a sample. Um, but each week you get this like overview of what you're doing and it's kind of set up for five days a week and then the subjects. But in addition to like this week view, you also have like a more detailed like daily view of what you do each week or each day. And it's also very um, easily easily changed. So we don't do all of this stuff. We don't do the vocabulary or the dictation. So we mostly kind of like do the reading and then we add in the activities. But let me show you, this is like what we do. Let me show you a cleaner one. So, I will just at the beginning of the week, like type this up and this is what we are actually doing for that week because we have other curriculum that we're doing. So we just don't do everything. So, so I really like this curriculum. This is probably my favorite curriculum. We've been using this for several years and have done several levels and we can do it together. And I love all the books that we read. A few of these books are like books that I've added. Um, they're not included in the curriculum. Like, like this one is just a book that I've added. But anyway, so we really, really like this curriculum. It's affordable and we love all of the books. So the other thing that she started doing is this Oak Meadow. My 13 year old has really enjoyed using Oak Meadow the last couple years 
for like their middle school grades. So we decided to try it for high school. So, and we are not loving it for high school. Um, the reason being is I think because it, it's textbook learning and the textbooks are just really boring to us. So she started psychology and biology and we are not going to continue um, with these two courses. Um, we're just probably about a third of the way through and we're just, we're done. She tried it enough to know that she doesn't like it, um, which is pretty disappointing because of the price point. The psychology with um, the textbook, the course book, and then the teacher manual um, was $265. And then the biology with the course book, textbook, or and the teacher manual plus a lab kit was $440. So I'm going to show you what's inside um, because, you know, maybe maybe you'll like it. I, I like the course book. I just don't like that all the readings are coming from the textbook. So, like, you get an assignment summary each week and... Um, readings and there's a lot of like videos suggested videos and the assignments are okay and the activities are cool um, but I just wish that the readings came from somewhere else besides the textbook and then like same thing with biology um So like, again, there's assignments each week and comprehension questions, critical thinking questions, which I really like the critical thinking questions, um, the activities, and then each week also have a lab, which again, I like the labs. The labs are pretty good. Um, we've had a lot of fun uh, doing the labs. And the lab kit that comes with it does have like all of the things you might need that aren't common items. Um, and there are Facebook groups online where you can buy like used Oak Meadow curriculum for, for less money. Um, but this was just kind of a fail. I We are gonna continue on with definitely psychology for right now. Um, I'm just going to kind of create our own curriculum using more like living books like Build Your Library does. And I'm going to do that and we'll probably not do biology, but instead build your library when we get to physics, which we haven't gotten to yet. I'll probably uh, find something else to do with physics so she can have a physics credit for science. Um, but that is it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions and, uh, I'll try and link, uh, a lot of the stuff down below so that you can go and check anything out. Any link that goes to Amazon is an affiliate link. So I have to say that, and I get a very small percentage if you end up purchasing anything. Um, but even if you don't use this curriculum, a lot of these books with Build Your Library are really good. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful.